Hippocrates, it's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that it kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victims' excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal. And the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Cassandra. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. is but the shade of what it was. <sighs> I hope this is the worst. 
worst of it. Another body safe from the fanatics. That's all of them. Sandra, you're back. Gotta run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Ah. Friends, I know you're angry, and you have the right to be. Why do they hide in their houses and not quell the chaos that's come to Athens? Understand? Pericles is a sick man. Don't blame him for that. Blame. I didn't expect to see you. What do you think you're doing? You're driving this mob to madness. This, this is nothing. I will make Athens great again. We are Athenians. We settle our disputes democratically. But there comes a time when words are not enough and the people must take action. Athens' name was once held high in the world. Now, what has it become? Let's return Athens to greatness. We will be feared again. Raise your voices. I promise you, you won't be ignored any longer. Cassandra, it's good to have you back. I've never seen anything like this. Those who are killed by the plague run wild in the streets. Death is rampant, and it's only a warning. We have ignored what truly plagues us for too long. Cleon. How can you worry about him at a time like this? Ah, under his reign, Athens will lose the freedom and glory that has put it on the world stage. It is time to turn my words into actions. How? You will find out as soon as I do.
Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Sandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah. Yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. 
Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon, my greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Please let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. Thank you. 
Αδύνατο τον εστί σωθεί. This looks like the place. Here. This was savage. Done to send a message. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Ah! 
Mother of all, I greet you. Aniazu. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. Aspasia knew the danger. And she still sent you. I'm sorry, Phoebe. You didn't deserve this. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work! No, I... it's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe that child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away! You could have protected her! What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Cassandra. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But did Phoebe? Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles... Go! Mine. 
Pericles! Stay out of my way. All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go. Forever? 
It's all clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. About Phoebe? No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No, I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> Then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. that volcano? It's pretty hard to miss. Some say there is an entrance to the underworld at the bottom. And what? You enter by diving in it? That's the spirit! A brave Arcadian I once knew had the same idea. And what happened to him? The heat of the flames turned him to ashes before he made it halfway down. I guess some mysteries are best left unexplored. Sail! Sail down! 
some debris in the water. Are you excited? Nervous? What will I say to her? Cassandra, you've traveled half the Greek world to fight her. You don't have to say anything. Just being there. For Imeza, Nai, for Imeza, Nai. 